Why Clef's in a state of sleep thinking about Ladies and gentlemen, once again a boxing out of the red corner, Jack Schuster. Here's a opponent across the ring, boxing out of the blue corner, Jack Packer. Three two minute rounds over to Rob. First competitive bout of the evening is a junior bout. Jack Shoesmith in the red corner, Jack Packham in the blue. Now you know I normally refer to the boxers by their Christian names, but because they're both Jack, I'll be referring to their surname. So Shoesmith in the all light outfit, Packham in the all black outfit. My former student, now top boxer and coach, Chris Long in Packham's corner. And Packham has gone right across the ring to Shoesmith and really looking to put him under pressure. Shoesmith doing well defensively to get back into the centre of the ring. But I think he's been surprised by the speed of Packham's start. I've watched this young man train over the weeks and he really is looking to put Shoesmith under pressure. That said, a nice right-hand counter from Shoesmith as Packham came in. What a lively start to this bout from these two juniors. Our opening competitive bout after an excellent demonstration. And now it's settled down more. It's Shoesmith looking to control the centre of the ring. But Packham pushing forward again and that's a heavy right hand. And he's keeping Shoesmith backed up in Packham's own corner. He's ducking and diving but he is taking these shots. And he's finally going to get a count here. Big start for Packham. Shoesmith bobbing and weaving a lot, but he takes the count. Packham looking to move into the body. It's been a very solid start for his debut here for Packham. And he's got that count in his favour in the opening round. Shoesmith needs to settle into his rhythm, use that height and reach, and he's doing just that. Good comeback from the young man in the red corner now, and he needs it. It's just the right thing. He must use that height and reach. Last 10 seconds of the round, and it's a good finish to the round from Shoesmith. He's got that count against him. So, excellent opening round, but you've got to go with Packham because of the count but Shoesmith came back strongly so I'm looking forward to the middle round round two round midway point two. two or three good start for Packham but Shoesmith showed what he's capable of in that last 20 seconds of the round so Packham looking to start the second the way he did the first pushing in heavy good defensive work from Shoesmith Packham looking to work the body. Shoesmith looking to create space for his own work. Got to use those long limbs to keep Packham at range. That's what he needed to do. Both young men really throwing the heavy leather now. Good stiff jab from Shoesmith. Much more even start to the second round. So Packham bobbing and weaving as he steps in. Goes low, then high. Looks to keep Shoesmith backed up once more. Good work here from the young man in the blue corner. And Shoesmith goes to canvas. More of a push, I feel, than a legitimate knockdown. But he is tired. He is tired here, you can see. So Packham is just ducking under that initial jab. And looking to back Shoesmith up. Now Shoesmith looking to fire off that big right of his own. It's been a lively second round. And that was just a trip from Shoesmith. And again, Packham ducks the shot from Shoesmith. Steps in. Looks for the big right and left. Looks to keep Shoesmith backed up. Shoesmith looking to work behind that long jab. But Packham steps in with that right. Shoesmith responds quickly. Time. 
Well, two rounds down, very good. Pretty even second round, I'm still edging to Packham in the blue corner, but it was a lively, good technical round. Two down, one to go. Third and final round of a good competitive contest. They touch gloves. Packham bobs and weaves as he looks to come in and both throw the big shots. And again, it's of the two. It's Shoesmith that goes down and gets the count. They both landed right hands. But they both landed at the same time, but it's Shoesmith forced to take the count. What a battle this is turning to be, out to be. So Shoesmith has to go again. He did well in the second, but oh, that right hand of Packham's lands again. Bobbing and weaving as he comes in to Shoesmith. Good right hand this time from Shoesmith. He realises it, looks to capitalise. What a battle this has turned out to be. Packham bobs and weaves and throws his own right back once more. Steps away from Shoesmith's left, Packham. Steps away from the jab. He's got two counts in his favour. He's just got to stay on his feet. Shoesis, for his part, has got to get that count back in this round. Goes for the big right. Packham ducks under it. Steps in again, and there's the right hand again. And Shoesmith takes a second count. He carries power in that right hand, Packham. And it's been the difference between the two men here. Shoesmith back to his feet, it's all over, it's a stoppage win for Packham in the blue corner. It was the right hand was the difference, the power of Packham's right hand in what was otherwise a very competitive bout, but what a debut win for the young man from Long's Gym. Okay, ladies and gents, let's have a round of applause for Jack and Jack. After one minute and 29 seconds of round number three, the referee stopped the contest with Jack stopping Jack. Your winner, boxing out of the blue corner, Jack Packham! And once more, a round of applause for Jack Shoesmith, ladies. <laughs> Thank you. Here at Tank Promotions representing Chris Long's boxing gym. How are you feeling? I feel amazing, I've worked so hard for this. Exactly the outcome I wanted. He's far more experienced than you. Yeah. Yeah. It's my, my first ever fight. I had to give him my all. Came out with a win. There's lots of people here in this venue here tonight. Any messages for the people who come around for you? Sorry, what was that? Any messages for the people who come around for you? Oh uh, well just thank you very much. Uh, they're all the people that believed in me and I'm I'm fucking, I'm glad they did. And we see you back. 100%. Let's go. Hold on.